Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at turning a JPEG image into a diagonal pattern in Photoshop. Now I've done a video previously on turning a JPEG image into a pattern and if this is the kind of pattern that you want then a link to that particular video is in the description below. But today what we're going to be doing is a diagonal pattern that looks something like this one. But just before we head to Photoshop, a quick look at where you can find some other Photoshop goodness. I have lots of classes at Skillshare.com and I've given you a coupon in the description below that you can feel free to use and also share with others. So let's go back to Photoshop and I've already downloaded an image of some donuts from Unsplash.com. What I was looking for was some images of something I could use, i.e. the donuts, but I wanted something with a fairly even background because I'm going to remove that background and rebuild it. And so you want something that has pretty good edges on it if you're going to have a really satisfactory pattern. We're going to look at two patterns here, just a standard diagonal pattern and a diagonal pattern that has alternating pieces. We'll start with the rectangular marquee tool. I'll hold the shift key as I drag out a marquee, a rectangular marquee. This is going to be square. If I hold the space bar as I'm drawing this, everything is going to be moved around until I'm right over the top of this donut. When I let go, I've got my marquee selection, so I'll choose edit and then copy. It's copy to the clipboard, that's the Windows clipboard or the Mac clipboard. Choose file and then new. And the first document here is going to be the exact size of the object that you just copied to the clipboard. You can see it's called clipboard. Now, if I have a look at this design here, there's not a lot of room for me to get another diagonal donut in here. It's pretty tight here. So I'm thinking that this size is going to be a little too small. At the moment, it's about 1400 by 1400 pixels. Well, I'm going to take that up to a slightly bigger rounder number. I'm going to choose 2000 by 2000 because that's going to give me the extra space that I'm going to need to build up my pattern and it's also a nice round number. I'll click create and now I'll choose edit and then paste and my donut image is going to be pasted in here. If we have a look in the layers palette, we'll have a background layer that is white and a pasted donut. The first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to continue to use this blue. I'm going to get the best result by using a blue. So I'm going to the eyedropper tool and I'm just going to click to sample that blue because I want to know roughly what blue it was. Next I'll go to the quick selection tool because that's going to be an easy way to make a selection of the blue on the outside of this donut. Once I've got a good selection of this blue, I'll press delete to get rid of it and then Control or Command D to deselect the selection. That's the same as choosing Select, Deselect. So I've got a slightly blue haze around the edge of the donut. That's just fine. It's going to be perfect. Let's go to our background layer. You'll see that I'd already sampled and saved effectively that blue color. Because it's the foreground color, I'll hold the Alt key on the PC and press the Backspace key. On the Mac, that would be Option and Delete and that fills that background layer with this blue color. So you can see our donut looks really seamless on this background. Now, if we just created a pattern of these two layers, we would get a grid sort of pattern, but we want something a little more sophisticated than that. So I'm going to take this layer here and drop it onto the new layer icon. So we end up with two donuts on top of each other. The topmost donut layer is selected. That's really important. Then we're going to apply a filter to it and it does involve a little bit of math but I promise you it's really easy math. You'll choose filter and then other and then offset. And you'll have some value in here. It can be anything. I'm just going to zero this out. What you're going to type in as the horizontal and the vertical is one half of the width and height of this document. Now, if you remember when we created it, I created it as 2000 by 2000. So half of 2000 is 1000. So I'll make it 1000 horizontal and 1000 vertical. And this is the exact result you should get. You should see a quarter of a donut in each corner of this document. I'll click OK. 
Now this all together makes a diagonal pattern piece. So I'm going to click on this topmost layer and shift click on the bottommost layer. So all three layers are selected. Then I'll choose Edit Define Pattern and I'm going to call this Diagonal Donut. Let's test this out by creating a brand new document. File, New. I have a saved size here, it's 6000 by 4000, so that's quite a large document. I'll create it. Then I'll click Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. This is a good option to use because the pattern that you're going to fill this document with is always going to be the last pattern that you created. And we could scale this down to 75% for example, just to check that it's working fine and we've got a good diagonal pattern. Now if that's all you came here to do, then that's fine, you've got your diagonal pattern. But I also want to show you how you can get alternating donuts here so we can build a slightly more sophisticated pattern. Let's go back to the file that is our pattern piece and I'm going to remove this top layer. So I just have the middle donut. Let's go back to the original image and let's choose a different donut. So I'm going to deselect the selection, that would be Control or Command D or Select, Deselect. And I'm again going to select over one of these donuts. So let's go to the rectangular marquee tool, hold the Shift key, drag over to create a nice square choose Edit, Copy, and go back to the document we were working in here and choose Edit, Paste. This new donut is pasted immediately over the top of the old one. So let's just turn everything off now so we can be clear about what we're seeing. We bought in this donut and it's got some blue coloring around it. Well, we're just going to remove the blue coloring. Again, go to the Quick Selection tool and just drag over the blue coloring until you've got it all selected. And then press Delete. So you should end up with a donut with a little bit of fringing of blue around the edges. That's just fine. Let's turn everything back on again. So right now our donuts are on top of each other. Well, let's go to this topmost donut and apply that exact same filter. Filter, Other, Offset. And because our document is 2000 by 2000, then we're going to offset it 1000 by 1000. That's half of the width and half of the height. Click OK. Again, this is now a repeating pattern swatch. So let's select the topmost layer, shift click on the bottommost layer so everything is selected and choose Edit, Define Pattern. I'm going to call this Alternating. Let's go to the document that we were trialing these patterns on. Double click this topmost layer because that opens the Pattern Fill dialog. And the very last pattern in the Pattern dialog is our new pattern. And you can see that it's a perfect alternating pattern. Every second donut is a different color. So you've seen now how you can create a simple alternating pattern with the same object and one where the objects are alternating themselves. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned plenty about Photoshop during this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And please feel free to share and comment on the video too. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.